Hello, this is a continuation from the example from last time. So let's recall what we were doing. We wanted to transform the uh, plain text that we see here, uh, meet Carlos, into the cipher text by using the cipher uh, shift three units to the right. Now remember you do that but just by looking at the order in which the alphabet here, English alphabet appears and you shift each letter three units to the right. Now, I almost finished uh, that example from last time. So if you recall what we just did in the previous video, I transform every letter of the word meet into uh, these letters that are here. So M was transformed to P, E to H, and so on. I also did part of the word Carlos. Uh, C was transformed into F, A into D. And there was the, the ones that are here in yellow are the ones that I didn't do last time, but I'm trusting that you already know how to do this transformation. So what is going to be the plan, uh, the ciphertext now? The ciphertext, of course, is going to be the ones putting together all the letters that of the message that is being that is transformed. So it's going to be P H H W, P H H W, and then the uh, word F the U O R V, which correspond to this word here. So that is the ciphertext. So this is the ciphertext. And now, uh, what is the situation now? So when the we have the cipher text, then we send that cipher text to through the uh, insecure channel. So let's look at the situation we had from last time. So, uh, so we have we have Alice, okay. So Alice is the one, assuming that Alice is the one that wants to send that message to Bob. And so what she what she's gonna do is she's gonna send the cipher text. She's not gonna send the plain text, of course, because remember Eve that is right here is always listening to that channel. So the message that she's gonna send to Bob is actually this message here, the one we just did, the cipher text, okay? So let's call that cipher text, just have to make things easier for us, let's call that uh, M. So M will stand for all this P H H W F D U O R V. Okay, so don't get confused that M is the letter M. It's just I'm saying that M is this whole message. Okay, so uh, so here is Alice. Let's use another color. So let's say Alice already did that transformation. So the person who wants to send the message is the person who wants to transform the plain text into the cipher text. So when she gets the cipher text, which is M, she's gonna take that cipher text and she's gonna send that to Bob. Okay. And Bob is gonna get the cipher text M. Of course, because Eve is also listening to that channel, uh, Eve is also gonna get that cipher text M. Now M is the cipher text, and M is remember uh, this uh, expression that you see here. Uh, P H H W. P H H W F D U O R V. Now, once uh, Eve gets that message, she's not gonna understand what the message says. Of course, Bob doesn't understand that either because it's the cipher text. Now, what Bob has to do now, Bob has to transform that cipher text back into the plain text. So, what he has to do now is he has to take that message that is right there. So let's choose here the yellow again. Now remember that this is this is the cipher text. And he needs to transform it into the plain text. The, the plain text. That's the actual message that Alice wanted to send to Bob. Now how is he, he gonna do that? Now what he's gonna do now is do the opposite operation. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is this. What did Alice do? So she took the plain text. Plain text. Let me take that. Let me erase that T. That's the plain text. And she, what she did was transforming that plain text into the uh, cipher text we call M by using the cipher, cipher shift uh, three units. To the right. Now, 
because Bob that already received the ciphertext doesn't understand what the ciphertext is then he has to do the opposite operation so now you can imagine what the opposite operation will be if if the operation is shift three units or three positions to the right then the opposite operation will be shift three units to the left so what Bob is gonna do to get the plain text so what he has to do here is he has to uh, shift three units to the left and that way he's gonna get the actual message or the plain text so this is the whole situation here so only Alice and Bob know how to do that because we are assuming that Alice and Bob already agreed on that shift cipher so every time somebody sends a message that person is gonna uh, shift the units to the right to get the cipher text the cipher text M is the actual message that is being sent all the way here uh, to Bob. Bob, of course, gets the ciphertext. He, does, he doesn't understand it because, he's, of course, that's the point. The point that is the ciphertext is something that when you get, you don't understand it. Now, he has to uh, get the plain text from there. And how does he get the plain text? He's going to shift three units to the left. Now, I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. And so in the next video, which is actually use... Uh, almost exactly the same as the transformation we did to go from the plain text to the cipher text. Now we're gonna do it backwards. So we're gonna have the cipher text and get back the plain text.